All right, so this is going to be a pod review for the Caribbean Red Habanero. And I don't ever believe I've done a pod review on the Caribbean Red uh, since I started my channel, though I have been growing it for years. I think I did a slight review on it um, and put it on my other channel, but I don't actually think I have anything on this channel. So let's get into it. So back there, these are all the red Caribbean habaneros. There's literally a bunch of them on there, a whole bunch of them. And they're kind of all over the place, to be honest with you. They're all, that plant really spread itself out. There's some there, there's some up there. So they really spread itself out, and they're kind of everywhere. Now, the Caribbean red habanero at one time was the world's hottest pepper. So it did hold the title as the world's hottest pepper, but that soon, you know, got taken away by the seven pot, and then after that one, the I think the title went over to the Buchalokia, and then the title went over now to the Reaper, and then it's been moving around for a while. The Scorpion was held the title for a while, and so they've been moving around a lot. So there it is, and so it's basically a broadleaf plant. I can't really get too close to it. But it's basically a broad leaf. It's smooth stem, no purpling in the stem, and I don't have any flowers coming off it. At least I don't think so. I'm not really sure. I can't really see which. No, there's no flowers, but it's still putting out plenty of peppers. I mean, this thing was a heavy producer. I gotta get all these peppers off of here today. And, uh,. Just basically uh, get this review done and then clear the plant out for, you know, so it can put out more flowers and I could get some more peppers by the end of the year. All right, so let's try to get one of these for you. An easy one for me to get while I'm filming. There we go. That was easy. And so this is it right here, the Caribbean Red Habanero. Now, I know this is going to be hot. This is going to be the upper end of the habanero range, which is really pushing the threshold of my heat tolerance. Um, once you start getting into the 800,000 million range, that's where you start getting gut cramps badly and stuff like that. So once I start getting to that range, I can't really handle them anymore. In fact, I just did a pod review on the Cappuccino Red Naga. That thing was so hot, I almost let go. I almost literally puked and crapped my pants at the same time. That's how hot that pepper was. And I'm, I don't really want to go through that again. That was beyond my ability to deal with heat. And so I got that video. That'll be coming up soon, if not already uploaded. But it was a little bit too much for me. So I'm hoping that this ain't going to be that much hotter, but we'll take a bite off it and we will see what it tastes like. All right, guys, here we are. We got the Caribbean Red Habanero. So I said earlier that it was at one time classified as the world's hottest pepper. And I'm going to be honest with you, it is a hot pepper from what I remember. I just don't remember how hot I'm going to be honest with you. But it is hot. It's definitely got some heat on it. So we're going to attempt to take a bite off it. I'm just going to take a small bite today because I did a pepper review on the uh, red cappuccino naga. That thing nearly, nearly put me in a hospital. That thing was way beyond my ability. So I'm a little bit burnt on that one right now. So I don't want to do any really hot ones. But I do need to get these pepper reviews done and... All the peppers are starting to come in, and i got to get them done. So, anyway, enough stalling. Caribbean red habanero going in. Still chewing it. It's down. 
it's warm going down. So far it's a mellow heat, but I can't really describe the heat yet. It might be a slow builder. The taste was very nice. The taste of it had like a very light fruity flavor, very light. Very nice, I, I like uh, habaneros that are low in that fruity flavor. But it had a very nice light fruity flavor. Um, and it was really, it was slightly sweet. It really wasn't bad. It's it's a very easy pepper, to be honest with you. Compared to what I ate the other day, this is this is like a breeze. It, it is hitting my stomach a little hard, but that could be because I really shocked my system yesterday. Trying to eat a super hot. So it is kind of, my stomach's a little bit on the edgy side right now. So it could be because of that, but... The, the heat in the mouth is like, I don't know, I'd say probably 100,000, if that. It's not really killer heat at, or at this point right now. It is warm. It's heating up the back. It's heating up my, it's heating up my tongue going to the top, to the back. Not really hitting the back of the throat. Not hitting the roof of the mouth or nothing. Just the top of the tongue. It's not bad at all. Like I said, it's pretty easy to be honest with you. It w it did hit my stomach a little bit hard, and like I said, that might be because I I did a I did an extremely hot pepper yesterday, and it I almost threw up from it, and it it was so hard on my stomach, I was hurting on all ends from that thing. So because of that reason. Um, I think my system's a little bit on edge right now. It's, it's you know, it was just too hard of a, a, a I should have never done that. I mean, I took almost a whole pepper in, so I should have never done that. I was stupid. But, yeah, this is a really nice pepper. It's, in my opinion, it's not really that hot. I can't see how this was a record, world record holder. Maybe back in the 50s it may have been, but nowadays... I can't see how, you know, even it held its record too for a while. Can't see how that was because there's so many other peppers that are so much hotter. I mean, this is really pretty easy to be honest with you, but it's a very nice, smooth, easy pepper. Um, the heat was easy. The flavor is very nice. It's very low spiciness. In other words, I don't feel like I'm going to keep belching this up hours after I eat it. It's just basically smooth and easy, and and uh, flavor was nice. I, I could I could easily see putting this in a salad, no problem. Doesn't have that super fruity, spicy habanero, repeat itself a million times type thing. It's it's like you eat it, you do your little thing, and it's gone. You know, no no repeating itself. But there is a little bit of heat on it. I am gonna say that uh, it it. I, I do feel it in my stomach a little bit. Not real bad, but I do feel it. Again, that could be because I did it super hot yesterday. That really hit my system hard. Maybe my stomach's a little bit on the edge from that. I would say that it's uh, it's definitely a go. This is a highly recommended pepper, I would say. it's That flavor is very nice for a habanero. It almost doesn't even taste habanero-ish. I'll take another bite. The fruitiness is just so mild on this thing. It's not really that big of a, you know, it's not it's not a big strong fruity flavor that's just going to overwhelm you with fruitness. There was no soapy flavor with it, though I will say now that I'm coming up on the seeds, heat's picking up. There it comes, <laughs> right up around those seeds. But still, I, I would definitely say, you know, not, I wouldn't go, for me, I wouldn't say over 100,000 Scovilles on that. I don't know. I, I can't really go any higher. At least with this particular pepper, maybe some of the other peppers will get hotter. I don't know. But this one wasn't that bad at all. You could do this easily. Ah, that's it. That's it for your pepper review. I will offer seeds at the end of the year. Maybe November, December, I'll get working on my website and I'll start uploading the seeds. This may already be on my website, so if the if the uh, if you go to my website and you look at the peppers and you see the 
the Caribbean red habanero available, you'll be getting these seeds from the from this harvest. So you'll just get the latest seeds. So that's it. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.